everyone, so today's video is going to be a haul video. Now, I haven't done a haul video on my channel for quite a long time now, and I recently picked up some new booty bits in the past month or so. I got some new skincare, some body care, and some makeup, and also a nail polish as well. I want to show you guys, and some things in this video I have already tried, and some things I haven't really tried yet, so it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag review as well. So I hope you guys don't mind, and without waffling on too much today, let's get started. So the first category I want to get talking to you about is some makeup bits, and I recently picked up my new blusher. Now, this is from Marc Jacobs Beauty, and they recently launched in UK about three or four weeks ago to Harrods and I was in London last couple of weeks I think it was two weeks ago I was in London and I picked up this one and this is called Promiscuous in number 214 it looks a little bit like this and it's a very easy everyday colour I know it looks quite bright from the pan it actually looks quite bright from the camera as well but it's a very easy everyday dusty movie colour and I've got it on my cheeks today such a beautiful um, colour to wear every day. I feel like sometimes if you've got a heavy eye going on or if you've got a bold lip going on um, a bit of blusher can be too much but this is the perfect amount and it just gives your cheeks a really nice healthy glow as well so I really really like this from Marc Jacobs. The next things I picked up um, are two eyeshadow quads. Now these are both from Tom Ford's um, Spring Summer Collection and I have talked about these on my blog already which I would have linked for you down below if you're interested but the two quads I ended up picking up, the first one is called Honeymoon. Now Honeymoon is probably one of my most worn quads in the past month or so. It's a very beautiful warm tone palette, it's got two coppery shades on the top, it's got a really nice burgundy shade and it's also got a nice um, sort of plummy purpley shade as well i really really like this quad and it's probably one of my favorite launches from tom ford for quite a long time now and it's just so pigmented and i've just been wearing it you can wear the two shades on its own or you can wear all four shades together to create a really nice dramatic look i actually done a before and after picture on my blog as well and i've just taken it to germany with me it's just been such a beautiful quad as well so if there's one thing you want to spend your money on this month or if, if you want to spend money on a luxury quad then i highly recommend you check this one out as well so this is honeymoon the next quad i ended up picking up is called disco dust now disco dust is a very um nice neutral palette this is what disco dust looks like and i really like this one it's a very nice neutral palette i really like the pink inside and the glitter is really pretty as well but again with all tom ford quads you can wear them on their own or you can wear them all together to create a really nice dramatic look but these are super super pigmented and i'm really really impressed with the whole um new range as well so i really like this one the next things i picked up are from laura mercier i picked up two more um eye products as well because i just in a mood to pick up new eye products like new eyeshadows new eyeliners and everything so i picked up two new um cream eyeshadows recently and these are both from laura mercier and um, the first one i picked up is called alloy which is a really pretty um lavender lilac -y shade i've actually got it on my lids today um i mixed it with an another um, laura mercier eyeshadow on the corner but this is a really nice um sort of lilac um topaz color and it goes really nice on its own but i feel like um if you layer it as well like i did today it looks really really pretty and it's a very nice wash of color um but it stays on your lids pretty much all day which i really really like um so this one's called alloy the next one i ended up picking up was called burnished copper now burnished copper it's a more me color it's very um browny it's very neutral but you can definitely um put some drama to it and this one is a really nice ready bronzy color and it would suit a lot of complexions i feel like and this is probably one of my favorites and they just blend really well and this one as well i just wear it on its own or i have been wearing on its own and it just looks super super pretty as well so this is burnished copper the next things i picked up from laura mercier is a eyeliner actually and this is the coal liner in black navy now i really like blue eyeliner for some reason i really like the charlotte tilbury molly midnight and a burberry midnight blue which i wear a lot and i think blue liner is a bit different to black and i don't really like wearing brown liner because brown just doesn't really show up on me so i thought i'd go for a blue and blue is a really nice color that opens up your eyes so if you have another had enough sleep then you can always go for a blue liner to wake um to look more awake and this one is called black navy which i feel like is a very wearable color um so it's like a marine blue color um, slash black, but it's quite a nice deep blue and you can wear it on your lash line or you can wear it on your waterline. And I think it will definitely add a bit of pop of color as well. So I really, really like this from um, Laura Mercier. 
The next things I picked up um, is actually a repurchase for me. This is from Dior and it's a Dior Show Lash Plumping Serum. Now I talked about this on my um, channel quite a long time ago but I still use it and I still pretty much use it every day and I picked this up from the airport recently and it's just a really nice um, white primer and that you use on your lashes before you pop your mascara on and it's such a beautiful um, product to use and if you have trouble with your mascara staying in place or if you have your mascara falling out pretty much under your eyes every day then I highly recommend you check this out because it would definitely change your life as well so I've really been um, liking this one the next things I want to talk about um, is a nail polish I picked up recently. Now I picked up this one from Space NK. This is from Smith & Colt and I tried Smith & Colt back in Christmas time when I bought one of the gift sets and I really really liked it and I decided to go ahead and try a new colour. This is called um, Fauntefroy which is a really beautiful lilac-y um, sort of lavender colour and I think it's a really nice colour for spring and I really like Smith & Colt. I really like the bottles. Um, I think they're really sturdy and the actual... Um, lid is actually really heavy as well so you definitely got a quite a nice grip to it as well and I think this colour is such a pretty colour for spring as well so I'm really excited to wear this. The next things I picked up are um, a hair care product and I actually picked up this one from, from Space NK as well. I did a online order with Space NK about two weeks ago and some things I have tried and some things I haven't tried yet. So this one is something I haven't tried yet and this one's from Orbe and it's the Orbe Gold Lust Transformative Mask. I tried a sample of it about three or four months ago now and I think I really ended up liking it or remember really liking it so I recently had my hair bleached if you guys haven't noticed but um it's gone a lot drier um, than before I bleached it so I really needed a good hair mask and this one I ended up picking up because I just thought I tried it before I remember really liking it so I decided to go ahead and pick up the full size and Orbe is one of those brands that I really like but it's really super expensive but this one it is more on the expensive side I think it was about 52 or 55 pound which is super expensive for a hair mask but I figured if I'm going to use it once a week and it's going to heal my hair then it's definitely worth the investment so this is what the mask actually looks like and with all Orbe products they all smell really really good and this one just smells like coconuts and it just smells like honey and I think it would really moisturize and, and nourish my hair as well so I'm really really excited to use this. The next things I picked up is a body care product. Now I picked up a new body lotion recently this is from Fresh and this is a recent purchase from Harrods as well and it's a sea berry restorative body cream. Now my skin is really dry. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know I always complain about my dry skin. And this one is probably one of my favourite body moisturisers um, at the moment because it just moisturises all the dry bits. And I get really dry, especially arms and legs as well. And this one just stays moisturised all day and it doesn't sink in straight away like some body creams do. And I feel like body creams sometimes are quite sticky if you think body cream, but this one is not sticky at all and it sinks in really quickly and it just leaves your skin feeling really moisturised as well. So I really, really like this body cream. The next things I want to talk about or the last things I want to talk about is some skincare products I recently picked up. Now, I have been sticking to the same skincare products for a while and I just wanted to try um, out something new. So this um, new thing I've been picking up... Um, Recently it's from Omarisa and it's the Hydra Melting Cleanser. Now I've been using my Sunday Riley Blue Moon Cleansing Balm for quite a long time now. So it's about October time and I'm nearly out so I thought I'd try something else new. And this is quite a new thing from Omarisa. I did hear some reviews and some people talk about it before but I just really never needed a new cleanser. But recently I'm on the last bit of my Blue Moon Cleanser now and I do need a new cleanser. I tried this quite a few times already and I really really like it. It's um, got a tub like this and I really really like it and then the actual um, cleanser is a very nice gel slash cream texture. It's quite a weird texture but it smells really spa like. It's very um, fresh, it's very like green and it's almost quite minty as well. I feel like every time I apply it, it's very refreshing and I use it to take my makeup off um, after a second, uh, as a second cleanse as well. So after I take my makeup off with some cleansing oil, I go ahead and use this and it just leaves my skin feeling really baby soft and really moisturised as well. So overall, I really, really like this and I think it's a really good um, replacement for my um, Sunday Riley um, Blue Moon Cleansing Balm as well. So this is from Omarisa. The next thing I picked, or well, the final thing that I picked up is also from Omarisa and this is a actual repurchase for me. It's from, um, it's a toner, I think it's a toner but it's more of a 
princess product it's a facial spray which you don't really need in your life but i really really like it and this is the queen of hungry mess now i absolutely love this i've been for about six or seven bottles in the last two or three years or so and they are just such a beautiful product to use this one in particular i use as a toner in the morning and it just really refreshes your skin and i find that this one helps um moisturizing my skin as well because my skin at the moment if you can see i've got quite a lot of eczema patches on my chin and sometimes they can get really really dry especially in the morning and after cleansing i just spray this on and i don't use it quite sparingly i use quite a lot of it and it just really makes your skin feel really refreshed and hydrated as well so this is the queen of hungry mess so that's a wrap for me guys for my whole video i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out anything and i would have my lat latest video and also all my twitter and all the links i talked about today down below as well so thank you very much for watching i shall see you next week for a new video bye <laughs>